Alright, welcome back for the last video where I'm going to show how to configure our brand new lightsaber via the Crystal Focus Rice program. So I've already downloaded the drivers, the Rice program, and a font uh, from Kyberphonic. I'm going to show you how to put a new font on the SD card as well. So first things first, we need to install these drivers. And click I agree. We check these and we click install. Now it's completed, we can close that. So next we need to open our Crystal Focus Rice program, which looks like this. So to connect our saber, we're going to take the kill key out so it's got power. I'm going to turn it on. Make sure the port list is refreshed by clicking port list. I've only got the one port, so it's definitely that one. And then we click connect. And you can test it by going over to remote and checking these things. So clash, or I can turn it off, or turn it on. So right now, it only has the, it says max blade profile one. Well, actually, let me re click read settings make sure it's up to date. There we go. So yeah, Max Blade Profile 1. So say I want to give... I want six profiles on here. So we're going to do Max Blade Profile 6. And that's actually uh, 7, I think, because 0 counts. So we're going to hit Save Config. And now we can move over by clicking Current Blade Profile and we can change that. So now we're on Blade Profile 1. And say we want to make that into an unstable blade, we'd go over to this LED Strip Effects tab, and under the Unstable Effects, we'd make it Unstable. You can see in real time it changes that. And I think Unstable looks better if we turn on Heat Mapping. Although I might have to yeah, fiddle with these other settings. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Nice, high, crackly blade. So yeah, so now that one, if we save all. So now that profile is an unstable blade. That's pretty easy. I'm not going to go over all of these effects, but you can change the different blaster bolt effects clash to uh, localized, and then test them over here in the remote tab. Clash, blasters. So yeah, there's that. Um, I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna kill it. And I'm gonna show you how to put a font onto the SD card. So we're gonna close this out. Right, close that, and we're going to open up our SD card package that we used earlier, the default package that's got all of our other fonts on it, and we're going to open up our font that's been downloaded. So we're using a CFX, so we need the CFX version of this one, and this DS store file that's in here can just be deleted. It's uh, produced by Mac computers, so we can just delete that. And one thing that's missing from this is the LEDs file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the LEDs file from another font and copy it over there. I don't have any accent LEDs on this saber, but it'll prevent an error beep from happening when we select this font. So I also then want to take this font, I'm going to rename it to 15-General Krell, because the last one I have here is 14. There. 15-General Krell, and then I'm going to copy it over here. 
Easy. That's it. Now I've got a new font on that SD card. Or in the SD card package, rather. So what I'm going to do next is I've got another SD card. I'm going to load it up. I like to keep one SD card set because that was my last good working configuration. So if I mess anything up, I can always go back to that one. So that's our default package. We want to go over to this PC and we want to format the SD card. You want to format it anytime you're doing any changes. And you want to copy the entire package over in one go. Yeah, this gets to be more and more of a pain when you have, you know, 50 fonts on your board that you're that you're copying every time, so so try and just pick your favorite fonts and keep those on a board. Uh, otherwise, yeah, this could take 5 minutes each time you want to make any changes. You have to copy the whole package over at once. Come on, almost. Awesome. Now we just want to swap the SD cards. So I can take this one out here like that, set it down carefully, and get this one out here. And we'll put this in carefully. There. So if we unplug it. Now if we browse the fonts, we should be able to find that one. And there it is. My General Krell font. Are you questioning my order? I didn't configure the uh, the color for it yet, but that's easy enough. You just press the aux button and twist. There's other ways to to configure the saber or to uh, to interact with the saber, but right now I have it set to just yeah. General Krell should be like a should be a green, right? Yeah. Perfect. Well, that concludes my uh, my video series. I hope you, if not enjoyed it, at least found it informative. Uh, and I hope I helped somebody out there make a lightsaber of their dreams. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bye.